the whole idea behind the cantina was that uh, there isn't. I have a gaming store next door that people were playing. They play board games all the time, role playing games, card games, and they wanted a place to come and socialize and 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 drink. And you know, the little older crowd. Like that's the thing of Star Wars. Is I mean. Most people that play games these days are in their 40s, 30s and 40s, and they, need, they want a place to socialize that's not just a store. So they kept asking, when are you going to open up a bar? When are you going to open up a bar? And, and so the, the, the next question, the next answer is immediately. And then um, <clears throat> when sitting around wondering, what are we going to call it? Well, my gaming store is called the Kessel Run. It's a Star Wars gaming bar, or it's a Star Wars inspired gaming space. And uh, the cantina was just a natural fit. Some of the stuff from here is from my house. Some of the art on the wall is actually from my own collection. Others is pieces that we've picked up from local groups like the 501st. They've donated a couple of pieces here and there. The new film that's coming out, everyone is, is so excited for. Um, and they come here to talk about everything about it. Why is Luke not on the poster? Who are the bad guys? What's going to happen? Is Han Solo going to die? Like, it's just all about the plot itself. And they're, they're just completely enamored by a fact that there's a new Star Wars movie out there and uh, and a lot of them are, are speculating as to what's going to happen. Whenever you watch it when you're a kid, there's a magical element to it with guys with lightsabers and blasters and, you know, Dark Lord and a, and a Light Lord and, and, you know, Sith and Jedi and all that stuff. It's really just sort of the struggle of the good versus evil and then you throw in the fantastic space opera type of thing and that, that sticks with you when you're a kid. I mean, I watched it when I was eight years old and here I am almost 40, 45 years old and I own a Star Wars bar. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing like that, right? So, and that's why people come here too. I mean, we've got kids from, uh, you know, that are, that are 12 to 15 that are just experiencing Star Wars for the first time. And we've got people that are in their 20s that watch the, the new movies from the 2000s. And then we've got people my age who grew up in the original trilogy. So it's really bridging all the fans together in one sort of conglomeration of Star Wars fans. And then you just sort of pick what you like, but it's all good and you, and you go with it.